Dispatchery's Cup of Linux. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to quick launch your virtual machine appliances from VirtualBox. First, let me show you uh, the, uh, the manager. You will see here that I have three virtual machines. Uh, I have a developer one for running my uh, Flash, Dreamweaver, uh, all of my development programs. And then I have a gamer for running all of my old Windows games. And then a live CD for testing out my uh, distributions that I download on DistroWatch. Okay, if I want to directly launch these without opening up the manager, I've got this set up exactly the way I want to, so there's no need for me to go in and change things every time. We simply it, just need to make some launchers here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this on the desktop. You can do the same exact thing with the panel. As a matter of fact, I already have that set up up here. I have one for my developer, and then I have one for my games. So they're already there, and I'm going to put one on the desktop just to give you a demonstration of how it works. So we just need to right-click on the desktop, create a launcher, and then we're going to name it our uh, whatever we want to name it. So let's say uh, VM for virtual machine and then developer. All right, and then we will issue it a command. Let me zoom in on this a little closer so that you can see what this command is. And then, of course, we need to add the name of the virtual machine. And it is case sensitive. In my case, it's capital D Developer. Now, for the comment here, if you're going to put this on your panel, maybe you want to have a description of what the item is. You can put this here. I'm not going to put anything right now. I don't really care for this icon, so why don't I pick out something else? This one looks cool. Okay. And here is our icon right here. And as you can see, it is working. And just like I showed you, if you click Add to Panel, another dialog will appear. And you would want to select Custom Application Launcher and it will give you the same dialogue you use to create this. Alright, there you have it. Alright, if you have any further questions, go ahead and uh, type a uh, comment in the message field below. I'll try my best to answer them. Please hit the subscribe button above and there'll be more Linux goodies heading your way. Thanks for watching.